So Dave, my final question for you is, although during Christmas time I ask you what are the trends that we are going to see in 2019, we're already in March now. And do you see that things have changed or are there any new trends that you are seeing that can be useful either to job seekers or even employers that are trying to find these talent people? There's a lot of pieces, but I'm going to try to capture it with one major trend. It's not what we do, it's what somebody gets from what we do. So there's a big trend to do technology, blockchain, yes. yep. internet of things, etc. Future of work. I think tech, yeah, future of work. I think that technology is simply an enabler to, a, to use information to get better decisions made. And so the trend is not what we do, either through technology or our own skills or our own efforts. It's what's the value that creates for other people. So... What information do I get from my employee experience data? I see, for example, a number of people talking about employee experience, and I get really worried that employee experience is not the end. Um, and I'll give an example, and I may have shared it in December because uh, it happened in November. I was with a group of senior HR people, and I said, so what's the best thing we in HR can give an employee? And there was a wonderful list, uh, opportunity, vision, purpose, meaning, values, committees, and teams. And I said, I think that's all wrong. I think the best thing we can give an employee is a competitive organization. Mm -hmm. Because if the organization doesn't win in the marketplace, there is no mission, there is no purpose, there is no incentive, there is no pay, there is no benefits. We've got to help the organization win. And then we connect what we do inside to make that happen. Mm -hmm. And all that around technology, around HR, is basically saying it's not what I do, it's what happens because of what I do. Back to story. My job as a leader is not to tell you my story. My job as a leader is to help you create your story. And the more that I think about how I enable other people or empower other people, to generate their agenda and their value, the more successful I will become, I think, as, a, as, a, as an employee or as a leader. Oh, wow. Those are great tips uh, or trends happening, uh, Dave, and I appreciate that. And with that, uh, my interview with you comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to interview again and ask you those questions. And I'm sure that it will be helpful for everyone listening or watching. So for those of you watching or listening, uh, and if you like, please like and share the videos, leave your comments. And as I mentioned, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Subscribe to my channel or reach out to Dave also. He's very active on social media and on LinkedIn. And he answers my questions every time I send him very quickly. Thanks for those, Dave. And tune in for next week for another interview. Till then, have a great day, everyone.